Thanks for joining me, this is Danny, and welcome back to my modded 1.11.2 series. And today we're going to be playing with Actually Editions, hooray! We're gonna start our first RF generation today with Actually Editions. We'll probably play around with some oil RF generation, and we're gonna get some batteries so that we can power stuff in our inventory, like the wands that we've collected. We're going to play around with the Actual Editions Farmer today, as well as one of my favorite, all-time favorite mining tools, a drill. The drill. First of all, let's talk about what Actual Editions adds to the world. If you've been playing at all in a world with Actual Editions, I'm sure you've seen plenty of black quartz. It's all over the place. It's about as common in, as iron. Um, there are also villages that spawn villager buildings, and we've already visited those in previous episodes. And they've got like machines and stuff that you can use, and they've also got some loot and things that will kind of help you get started with actually additions but you cannot take the machines from these buildings so don't think you can just go in there and get a head start on actual additions you still have to make your own machines but you can use the ones there it also generates these lush caves which you may find as you're mining in the world or if you're underground somewhere all of a sudden you see a bunch of trees and um, sometimes you'll find crystals in those caves that you can break and those will give you some Basically crafting ingredients for actually addition stuff. So I set up a little work table. This is a forestry item, the work table, um, which allows us to craft things and save some crafting recipes. And it has an own, its own internal inventory that it uses to craft. So I dumped a bunch of um, actually additions crafting ingredients in here. <laughs> Many of these we got in the last episode while I was out looking for Tinker's Constructs Islands. And I ended up finding a lot of loot along the way. Let's get started with RF generation because we can't do anything else until we have some RF generation. Now we have already started growing this canola um, out here which is going to be at least after today um, for a while it's going to be one of our main sources of RF. Um, however <laughs> we cannot turn this stuff into oil until we have RF. So we've got a little bit of catch-22 which we can solve um, with the help of actual additions. Oh what did it do with Oh weird, the mining backpack picked up the canola. That's interesting. Um, we don't really have very much cannoli. Oh, we've got we've got enough to get started with. So the first thing we're going to make from Actually Editions is the coal generator. And as you can see, it's just cobblestone and one of those iron casings. So normally we would need a fair, you know, a few pieces of iron to make this, but we don't because we already got it. And as you can see, it saves the recipe and then we can right click it to lock it. Otherwise, it'll just save the nine most recent recipes. So we now finally have our very first RF generation machine. Hooray! <laughs> the coal generator. I'm just going to stick that right there and drop some coal in it. And it'll start generating some our actually crystal flux, which is compatible with Forge Energy, um, which is basically the new RF. So um, in 111, we don't really have RF. We have Forge Energy and... Um, Crystal Flux works with Forge Energy. Forge Energy. It also works with Tesla and RF if you're in 110. So um, it's all the same, basically. From in in the eyes of actually additions, it's all the same, man. So now we can make an atomic reconstructor. That's the next thing that we're going to have to make, um, really, in order to get into actually additions because it's going to allow us to make um, crystals and such. So this is how that is made. We're going to need some iron. Um, let's just grab a half a stack of iron. We're also gonna need some redstone, and oh my gosh, we used all our redstone for our tinker's tools. And there it is, the atomic reconstructor. And then we're also going to want a button. So let's get a piece of stone. I suppose we could make a wood button too, whatever. But we're gonna want a button, and we're going to want a redstone torch. Because um, when we set this guy down, it's going to be in deactivation mode, which means that, as you can see, it's filling it with power. It's going to, like, buzz every few seconds. And we don't really want it to do that, because that's annoying. <laughs> so we're going to right-click on it with a redstone torch. And as you can see, there's a tooltip when I'm holding the redstone torch. If I'm not holding the to redstone torch, it'll say, hold the redstone torch to toggle. So we've now toggled it into pulse mode, which means that it will only work when we give it a redstone pulse. Let's actually make the oil generator right away. We don't really have much coal. And that is this, so we're going to need one piece of canola. Ta-da! So there's our oil generator. Um, I'm 
actually just going to get rid of the coal generator because oh wait, wait wait i can't get rid of the coal generator yet um so we're just going to hold on to the oil generator because we don't have any oil to produce rf with yet so the next thing we're going to do is start working on creating oil so what we need what we need is a canola press and again we're going to need another piece of canola and an anori crystal we have no anori crystal so what we're going to do is we're going to take we're going to make like i don't know 80 of these for now we just take our iron we throw it on the floor um you know what actually i think it's more efficient if we do it in blocks so we'll take one block of iron throw it on the floor like that it's going to use some rf and now we have an anori crystal block which we can of course make into a set of nine anori crystals and then we're going to need these advanced coils um, which is a coil so we need some more oh boy oh boy um let's let's do one redstone block for now and uh, i guess i'm gonna have to go mining for some redstone and you can do multiple blocks at once. Um, if you throw a bunch of stuff down there, it will do it all as long as there's enough RF to do it all. The black quartz in the middle. And for Restonia. And then this recipe we're going to lock because we're going to be making a lot of those. So now whenever we want to make that, like we could click these. Whenever we want to make a basic coil, we just go boom, and then we can make it. So now we're going to do the advanced coil, which is the basic coil with some gold nuggets. And that's another one that we're going to want to lock. Ta-da! All right, so our canola press does need RF. I'm going to put it right there. And we're going to, hopefully it'll start filling up with RF. Or maybe not, because this thing's taking it out. No, or, or not, because this isn't producing any RF at the moment. Okay, there we go. I'm going to take some canola seeds. And then I'm going to put that in there. And now we are producing canola oil. Hooray! Now, canola oil gives us a certain amount of RF, but we can get more oil. RF per bucket of oil if we convert it to the next tier oil which is called oil <laughs> it's oil 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 so we have canola oil we have oil we have crystallized oil and we have empowered oil we're probably not going to do crystallized oil or empowered oil yet um, that's going to be kind of a later game thing uh, but for today we're going to go ahead and make the oil oil um, because we can't <laughs> uh, with the not not canola press with the with the fermenter because um, why not the wood casing on the bottom and that makes our fermenting barrel uh, I am going to put this actually I'm gonna move this oh do I lose my RF I hope not put that right next to it and it picks up the canola oil right away and you can see it's fermenting it it doesn't require RF it just requires time so that's totally doable um, let's take that out because now we can set down our oil generator which should start taking oil from above hooray nice and it's generating 80 cf per tick for 120 ticks cool so now we're actually generating a decent amount of power already nice and this is already full so what are we going to do with that power? Hooray, we have power. Um, well, first of all, we're going to power our atomic reconstructor. Put the button back on there. And it did keep its settings. You can see it's still on pulse mode and it still has all of its RF. Um, if you look in the lower left-hand corner, there is no there is no GUI for this. So you just have to look at that. I guess the next thing I'd like to do is make the farmer so that we can secure our canola. Um, our canola so that we can continue to generate RF and we'll basically have a renewable resource for RF here. That'll be relatively easy to maintain. So here's the farmer. We need a bunch of Inori blocks. So we need four Inori crystal blocks. So like four blocks of iron. So I'm 
I'm just going to throw these on the ground. Press the button. We'll see. Oh, crap. We'll see. This is going to take a little bit more RF. <laughs> so still not a terrible amount. There we are. Farmer. Hooray. Now we got to get power to this guy. So that means we're going to have to start dealing with um, power transfer. And as long as we're playing with actual additions, um, we may as well use the actual additions laser. So we're going to have to make a couple of these energy laser relays and that means I'm definitely gonna have to go get some more redstone and then we're also gonna have to make a laser wrench in order to configure them um, for the time being I'm gonna fill this thing up with RF what no what is it doing <laughs> oh my gosh what is it doing oh look at that okay well, that's okay I didn't really want to do that but whatever I just want to get some RF in this guy so that we can take it over there and it'll last for a little while until we can get some RF transfer. So this guy's going to do a 9x9. Nine nine. It's going to farm out a 9x9 nine nine area and we're going to put canola seeds in it because that's what we're doing. Now you can, I guess technically you could do multiple um, crops with this thing but you're better off just doing one because you don't know what it's going to plant where and there's only one inventory for seeds and then there's one output inventory. So we're going to grab our canola seeds, which apparently we only have 27. Throw them in there, and there it goes. Hooray! <laughs> nice! So it'll fill up this whole area, of course, eventually. But Speaking of farming, when you hoe land manually with a hoe, you have a small chance of collecting one of these worms. It's going to um, fertilize a 3x3 three three area and hoe it. So we place that guy there. It's going to irrigate the area to make it oh, make it wet soil. And it's going to like speed up the growth rate of plants slightly. Before I go down in the mines and get redstone, I need to make one of my favorite mining tools of all time. And that is the drill from Actually Editions. And as you can see, it requires three diamantine crystals. Diamantine crystals are, as you might guess, diamonds. Um, diamonds that have had that <laughs> done to them and then oh I already had three oh well and, whoops and we need three Anori crystal blocks so we already we already know what that is that would be 27 and um, a couple of these advanced coils which we've already made and then it needs this drill core um, which is more of these and more of those and more of that however I already got one. <laughs> I got one in a in a uh, loot chest, so that's going to save us a little bit of trouble. And by default, it makes a cyan dr drill. If you click on any of the others, it'll be the cyan drill with um, some dye. These guys, and we have a drill. Awesome! We already have a drill. Um, however, we have no way to charge it. Um, so, we're going to have to make energizer is what we're going to use to charge our stuff, our items. So we can just stick that there. It'll suck in some energy. I wonder if this will pull from it. I don't think it does, but whatever. We'll get to that. And then we put our drill in there. And you can see it's going to pull this energy out pretty quickly. <laughs> and now it's just transferring all of our energy into this drill, which holds up to 250,000 uh, CF or forge energy. So while that's going on, let's check on our farm. Oh, we got some canola, hooray! We got some more canola, hooray! <laughs> nice. I'm just gonna drop those in there. We're gonna automate this, of course. Um, in fact, we're gonna move this stuff out of here. Alright, that's good enough. So now we can take this drill and break blocks with it. So let's just kind of take a look at how it breaks blocks. So it's actually reasonably fast out of the box. It's almost as fast as our pick. Um, well, kind of. Um, but of course, we can do much better than that. There are many upgrades that we can give this drill. If you shift right click, you'll see that we've got five upgrade slots. And there, are, and these are the upgrades. We've got three speed augments. Um, this is our first one. We're gonna need some sugar and restonia and that stuff. Our second one requires cake, that's going to be a little trickier to make. And then our third one requires um, 
an empower diamantine crystal, which is going to require us to get it to empowering, which we probably won't get to in this episode. Um, and then we also have silk touch. We've got fortune, which also requires empowering. And we, and then we have some of my favorites. <laughs> we have the three by three and the five by five. So we are at the very least, we're going to make a three by three today. We might, we might, no, we're not going to do the five by five because that requires empowering. Um, and then we also have a block placing thing where you can actually, while you're holding the drill, you can right click, you can right click to place the blocks um, next to it. So what I want to work on today is getting probably the first two speed augments and the um, drill mining augment one, which is going to give us three by three, which is basically going to turn this thing into a hammer and an excavator all in one. So we won't be having to switch tools because, oh yeah, I actually didn't show you that. Um, the beauty of the drill. Besides the fact that it can be fast and can do three by threes and such and so on, is that it also breaks shovel stuff. So it's a it's an excavator and a hammer. So we won't have to switch tools when we're mining at all. Okay. Right, three by three. So let's do our first speed right away too. Speed. So we got speed and mining augment. Oh, and I'm charging. We're fully charged. Hooray. Whoops. Okay, whatever. All right, let's check this out. I'm going to head down to the mining level. Well, the level that I'm mining at. Let's see how we're doing. This is one speed upgrade and one mining augment. Nice. If we do want to break a single block with this, we can just hold down the shift key. And even though we have the augment, the 3x3 three three augment, it will still just break a single block. So theoretically, we could get rid of our pick and our shovel and just use this. I don't think I'm going to get rid of my pick, though, because this is a pretty nice pick and it's got fortune and it's also quite fast. But I probably will get rid of the shovel. Um, the, another thing we can do is we can make the AIOT, which is a very nice tool, um, which I might even... We might do that, too, actually, now that I think of it, because the AIOT... There are several of them, AIOT, and they're basically all-in-one tools. All-in-one tool, that's what the AIOT stands for. Um, and they require all the tools. So we would need 3, 6, 8, 9, 11 um, of whatever item it is. So in this ca case, nine, or we would need 11 emeritic crystals to make that, which is totally worth it. Oh, crap. What? I, was, I wasn't even over there. <laughs> Come on, creepers. What's your deal? I swear, these 111 creepers, they're, they they just don't know. They don't know the game, man. Here's our energy laser relays. You can see we need some obsidian, restonia, advanced coil, and blocks of redstone. And that makes an energy laser relay. We're probably going to want to lock that recipe. Um, and then we can convert these into item laser relays and fluid laser relays just by placing them in front of this guy. And now we have fluid, and now we have item. Then if we want to change these back, <laughs> we can do that too. We just do it one more time, and then we've got um, our energy laser relays back. We need a wrench. All right, I'm just going to keep this simple in vanilla. I'm going to put a canola press down there. I'm going to put a hopper right there. Hey, okay, so our canola is going in there. Um, we're going to have to get power into that thing, but we'll get to that uh, very shortly. And then from there, I'm thinking we should be able to put the fermenting barrel on top. Let's see if that works. Uh, we'll never know <laughs> because it's already full. Uh, let me grab... Oh, I already have it. The oil generator. So right now this is completely full of canola oil. If I put the oil generator there, and pull some RF from it somehow. All right, well, whatever. Let's set up our laser relays. So we're going to need a laser relay um, on top of our oil generator. I'm going to put one down there, and I'm going to bring one in here, and probably put it right there so that it powers both of those machines. And the uh, energy laser relays are the easiest to work with. <laughs> All you do is, let's, actually, let's connect those two so that the laser kind of goes underground. 
since it's going through walls, it might look a little silly. So I'm just going to kind of hide it a little bit. And then um, there is an upgrade that we can do to make it invisible. Okay. So now let me put let me put my drill in here. That's going to suck a bunch of RF, which we should see. It's still it's still uh, charging, so that means it is pulling power RF from here. So we're using oil, and this is still full. Let's make sure it stays still full. Okay. Yes. So this this is all working. Hooray! And this guy is getting power. Nice. So our power is completely automated right now. Oh, we got to power our farmer too. These laser relays can look really nice if you set them up or, you know, depending on how you set them up, they can actually look really nice. This setup isn't the best for re laser relays, but there, I'm just going to bury this with dirt. And obviously the lasers do go through blocks, so that's not a problem. Before we go today, there's one more thing I want to do, and that is to make some armor. Now we've got, actually, let's just look at chest plates so that we can kind of get a sense. Um, you can make armor with uh, black quartz, and you can see it is comparable to iron. Your iron gives us six protection. Uh, I, I don't know how the durability is though. And then we can also go void crystal, which is coal put in the sky, and all the different crystals. We have diamond diamantine crystals, we have palis crystals, restonia, obsidian, and emerald. Of course, emerald is our going to be our best. Um, wait, actually, it's not. Okay, so emeratic crystal. Um, I'm going to make diamantine um, just because I have a ton of it. <laughs> I collected them and I didn't realize this. I was wasting diamonds before. I collected a ton of diamantine crystals. Um, most of them I think I got from one place. It was crazy. But uh, we're going to keep our slime boots. So I'm just going to make the rest of my armor out of diamantine crystals. Um, is there, there's not empowered, is there? No. Of course, emeratic would be best, but we don't have, we don't have that kind of emeralds. We have four. So maybe at some point in the future, we'll consider doing that. And the helm. Um, so that'll replace our iron armor, which will get us back up to iron protection since we have the slime boots. Oh, wait. Uh, I made boots. Darn it. I did not want to make boots. I wanted to make a helm. Okay, whatever. Oh, we're better. Oh, wow. We are almost diamond protection, even though we only have three pieces. And if we had all four, we would be better than diamond protection. So, like, we're off the charts down here, which we can't see. So, hooray! Once we get this stuff enchanted, it'll be even better still. Now that it's nighttime, if we go out here, we could probably take some hits and take little to no damage. <laughs> Look at that, no damage at all. <laughs> nice. Of course, I damaged the armor a little bit, which, you know, whatever. No. <laughs> what? <laughs> eh. I wasn't really trying to start a party or anything here. I just wanted to demonstrate. So at some point in the near future, we're going to make this setup a little bit more sophisticated. Uh, for instance, eventually we're going to fill up on canola seeds and that's going to kind of clog up our system. Um, but we'll take care of that in the near future. We're also going to get into empowering. And when we get into empowering, we're going to update our upgrade, our drill all the way <laughs> with the speed. And we're also going to do the experience solidifier, which requires empowered diamantine diamondatine crystals and there's quite a few other things that we're going to be doing with actual additions as well but in the meantime in the next episode we're going to be doing a little bit of magic-y stuff um probably i'm thinking evil craft but i might do batania i haven't decided yet if you have any votes of course let me know um of course i will eventually be playing both of those mods in this pack oh this actually looks nice the diamondine armor um <laughs> i will be playing both of those eventually
I do hope you join me for that. Of course, if you do have any questions at all about actual editions, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. I do read all my comments and I try to reply and answer questions whenever I can. My book, I don't know if you noticed this in the beginning, is the Derps edition. <laughs> Uh, yours won't be. Yours won't be the Derp's edition. Um, this is the Derp's edition because Elpec thinks I'm a Derp and he's the mod maker. <laughs> so that's what that's all about. Um, but if you did enjoy this, please don't forget to click the like button and to join me next time when we play with Evil Craft.